Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21. I am an old guy gaming, and this is the Apocalypse Ranger series. And so it is at 5 o'clock on day 6, and um, we're going to do this next clear and retrieve, uh, retrieve, <laughs> retrieve quest here uh, in an attempt to hopefully get the one last book that we need to make the hammer. So if we look at repair tools... Yeah, we're just one uh, one away from from the hammer. We need to find one more Handyland magazine. Excuse me. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this quest. We don't have a ton of time here. And we'll open this back up. And we got the spear magazine there. Okay. Uh, I did a little bit of preluding in the yard uh, before I started the, uh, the video, but nothing. We didn't get anything camera worthy. Um, that is... And yeah, that's actually an upgrade from what we currently have. Okay, we'll take that and scrap this. And repair. There's a sleeper around here somewhere. Uh, looks like they're right... Yeah, it's Bo. Okay, let's use our bow on Bo. And he dead. I really like this new bow that we just got. It's fantastic. Okay, so we'll just kind of go along here. I hope there's no landmines or dogs or anything like that around. Some cloth. Yeah, chiao. Oh, this is lootable. Not that there was anything that fantastic in there. Uh, lots of cloth and plastic here. Uh, these are clothes. Yeah, nothing, nothing too phantasmagorical there. How about shoes? Well, we'll sell that stuff. And more shoes. Yeah, again, stuff to sell. All right, what do we got going on over here? A little bit of wood action. Okay, let's do this. Is this where we go in at? That door doesn't even show whether you can open it or not. That was interesting. Uh, I don't think I want that stuff. Oh, this is how we start. Okay. Up the rope. Let's get ready for birds. There's a Steve right there. Okay, I got another red dot over here. Oh, it's a bird. Okay. I don't want to wake that bird up. When I try to hit him with the bow, is hitting the the pallet. Let's just shoot him. Good enough. Okay, we have a trunk here, but it is not lootable. This is quite the quite the place up here. Ammo pile with some nines. Water and water. Beautiful. Another duffel bag. There we go. Other than that, we're probably getting pretty close to the big first aid kit. I would think. Let's take a look at that real quick. Medical. Oh, no, we got to go. The next thing would be the cast... And we're one away from the cast, and then we have to go all the way to 50 to get the first aid kit. All right, well, it'll happen eventually. Is there anything up here? 
Man, too bad the dog wouldn't spawn in from up here. Then we can just shoot its butt. You know there's going to be one down there. All right, let's jump down onto the bed. There's our satchel right there. Okay, all clear so far. Let's grab this. Okay, we're just going to screw... Uh, what are we wearing for a shirt? I think we have the sweatshirt on. No, we've got the tank top. Okay. All right, so let's scrap this and this and this. Get rid of those. I'm going to repair our shotgun. And then we'll scrap the rest of these pipes. That's... Yeah, let's just scrap that too. We don't need two stone. Actually, you know what though? Before we throw those stones away, let's repair our axe. And we can eat these. Let's just eat this too, just to free up the space. I don't think I'm going to take 22 bones. All right, let's move. Nothing there. No zomba doodles in here. Let's get some more water, hopefully. Or toilet paper. Oh yeah, I recognize this place. It looks pretty similar on the inside. Wow, did they make um, spike traps break more easily at Alpha 21? Because those guys just kind of came right on through, even though they did take some damage. Kind of looked maybe that way. Water. Nothing there. That's kind of a cool little terrarium thingy. Uh, here comes the crickets. Yeah, we got to hurry here. There's the fat loots on the table. Little plastique. More toilet paper. There's usually a couple zombies in, inside of here. see them though doesn't mean they're not there yeah there's a red dot there's three red dots over that way a safe all right i see ronnie mcdonnie over there uh oh i'm either out of lock picks or i accidentally put them away when i didn't mean to so i guess we won't be picking the lock on that We should... Mm, this is going to be tight because of the table, but let's see what happens. Got him. Okay. There's another red dot, right? Yeah, it's a... Uh, uh, yo? No, it's Bo. And then there's someone in there. Okay, let's kill him. And we got... Oh, you're not dead? Okay, let's give him a shotgun blast. We'll give him a bleed too. Okay, that's it for all the baddies. Get everybody reloaded and get the loots. in the washing washer and dryer there. Alright, let's get the passing gas. Harvesting tool. No, we need the other one. We need uh, repair tools. 
Might get it out of here. Uh, nope, that's the hammer. Darn it. Let's get the ammo. Plastic. Medical supplies. Nice. Some coal. Oh, yeah, let's get this. All right. Decent stuff. We got a radio there that we can talk to Zulu Tango Foxtrot on. Check the cupboards. It is raining hard outside my house here in real life. Here's a couple food magazines. Steak and potato meal. Nice. We'll take it. We'll take it. That's going to lead out to the yard. Well, theoretically, there shouldn't be a dog out there because... Um... Knocking down enemy. Oh, nice. We got the barrel extender and uh, a big medi kit. This will fix up and sell. And we'll take that. Come on, handy tools. No, but I'll take I'll take an archery one too. That's also very good. So there shouldn't theoretically be a dog out here because we've cleared the place. But let's. Oh shit. So much for theory. <laughs> uh, how does that how does that compute when we just cleared the place and got credit for it? I don't know. I don't get it. Here, we're gonna eat this right now, and we're going to what are we gonna do? We're gonna uh, scrap these to take that take those dineros. Oh man, we need the cement. Do we have cement? We do. All right, cool. So let's grab this. I would really like to get some cement or some concrete mixed more precisely before the horde night. Okay, there. Let's do this. Let's put this in here. Put that there. Eat this. Repair that. Um. No, scrap that. Um, we'll scrap these, and you know what? I don't care so much about the yucca seed. I'd take them if I had room, but I don't, so. Wow, we didn't get what we needed. But we got some good stuff. So, let's head over to the trader, do the turn-in, and then we're probably going to just have to bite the bullet and spend a whole crap ton of money on a yellow hammer. Um, or I can... I guess I can wait and see if something pops for us tomorrow. I don't have really have a whole lot of prep to do, really, to be honest with you, on the on the horde base. I'm gonna change out the um, uh, the the frame that's blocking the door. I'm gonna change that to something a little more easy to work with. Oh, there's a dog. See ya, sucker. So I guess what we could do is we could we could do a little more questing tomorrow. Um, I guess the other thing though too is I gotta see how much longer the trader inventory lasts because if if it resets tomorrow, I don't want to take the chance of not getting that hammer. So let's look at that. Um, actually, hold on. I'm gonna go around to the front here. Okay, so I don't have anything in there. Let's just put a couple things in there that we're going to keep. That's good enough. I'd shake your hand, but I'll bet you got dysentery the way you smell. Okay, that's pretty nice, the pistol. Um, And we could fix it up and sell it, but... What's Fireman's Almanac Volume 6? Timber some more damage to coal and burn. That's a nice one, too. But you know what? I think this is probably going to be the most valuable thing for us right now. So let's take the magazine bundle. Okay, he's got a, a fetch. 
Let's make a pact. Home you of Jack Canada. Me, okay. It's a deal. So we'll work on that tomorrow. And you'll find yourself on the wrong end of a room. And I'm going to sell a couple things to him now. So we'll sell that. Uh, we'll sell this. That we're going to put on our hunting rifle. We want to sell the money to him. He doesn't want that paper. Uh, let's sell the headlight. Those are easy enough to get when the time comes for us to make a mini bike. He doesn't want that. Here, you want some rocks? Nope, he doesn't want rocks. Um, we'll sell that and that. I think that's all we will sell to him. Shit, man. I treat you that good and you don't even fucking tip me. Nope, we didn't get the books we needed. We got good ones, though. We'll take knife guy. We will take fisticuffs in armor. Does Oh, you know what? Does he have... Does he have the... Oh, he does have Handyland. Well, there you go. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Boom. All right. We can now make a claw hammer. That worked out good because I just didn't want to spend over 5,000 coin on a freaking yellow hammer. I mean, even a level one hammer is, it works pretty darn well. Uh, okay, so he restocks tomorrow on day seven. So, yeah, it's good that we... Went ahead and got all of that from him. What does Pistol Peak Volume 6 do? That's the armor piercing. Okay. I know we've looked at this before, but I'm just taking a quick peek at it one more time. So, 420 is not that much coin for an Iron Fire Axe. Um, I think... How much coin? Yeah, you know what? Let's buy it. Let's get that, because it's still going to be a little while before we can start making iron tools. Oh, you want a guarantee, huh? Well, maybe you should try Shamway. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a BDU top uh, for pretty cheap. Only 120 coin. Let's buy that. Be careful out there. You wouldn't want to get hurt. Take the yellow dye off. Let's modify this. I'll probably keep the tank top for warm weather clothing, though. Maybe. I don't know. The BDU is pretty good all around for temperature protection. Not quite as good as the specialized ones, but still pretty good. Okay, cool. So now we have a BDU tops and bottoms, and uh, we look a little bit more like an army ranger. Yes, indeed, we do. Okay, I think we're finished here, and it's almost nighttime, so i got to get going. All right, guys. Well, I'm... Um I'm going to just go back to the base and kind of piddly fart around um, overnight. And then I'll bring you guys back in manana. Yeah, that was loud. And we'll do this next job and get the, and get the horde base ready. Uh, like I said, there's not a, oh shit, you know what, I was going to see if you had concrete mix. I totally forgot to look. If we hurry, we might be able to run in there really quick and grab some. He doesn't have any concrete. Okay. You're getting on my nerves, friend. All right. So we might not have the option then of, of concrete mix for the Hard, hard Night 7. I'm not super worried about that, though. Uh, absolute worst case scenario, if they if they break through one of the concrete blocks, we just throw a, a cobblestone in its place. So. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in the morning and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. It is morning and uh, I have been uh, working here in uh, in the base. And so what I've done here is I've, I removed the metal door that was here and replaced this with a double layer of this win circle window for the top and this little U upside down uh, U shape for the bottom. Now, I'm not, I guess I'm not 100% sure the Zombos can't, you know, squeeze through these holes. So <laughs> I guess we're going to find out on the Horde Night if uh, they can or they can't. Um, and if it turns out that they can, you know, then what we're going to have to do is, is retreat up to here and then, you know, try and fight it from up here, which is not ideal, but excuse me i think you know i mean it's it's just a 
the the night seven horde so it's not gonna be that big of a deal one way or the other but i'm hoping this will work and then you know uh like they've done some damage here but i can't repair this without concrete mix so if they you know if they damage the outside of the wall here then we just quickly pop in a a cobblestone block there to make up for that and well, let's just turn those back to regular blocks for now okay so that's um that's basically what we're going to be doing for the horde night uh, you know, that being said, though, the trader did reset today, so it's possible that he'll have some concrete mix for us that we can purchase. Um, no, not equip. I want to turn these back into just normal frames here. Okay, so let's go ahead and go out and about once again. I'm going to leave the axe here for now. I mostly want to use that for, for building while we're at the base and not necessarily, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, while we're out and about, just because the axe, you know, the stone axe is both a repair tool and an axe and a pick at the same time. So although it's weaker, it uh, saves us on some slots. All right, now I can't make a wrench quite yet because I need more mechanical parts and I can't make the, the workbench because I need even more mechanical parts and we only have one at the moment. But the hammer, we should be able to do. Um, I, I made some more here. Let's actually check this too. Not quite there yet. I made some more uh, forged iron here last night. Plus I have, a, a, I think, 15 or so in, the, in here. Yeah. Uh, so we got that. And let's, uh, let's track this. We just need some leather and some duct tape. Two duct tapes and some leather. And boom, we got ourselves a hammer, uh, or will in just a moment here. Okay, so that'll take care of that. And of course, you know, we'll leave that here. We're not going to take it out with this question, questing, and then we'll have that for the Horde Night too. So that's going to take about a minute and a half. Um, so I'm going to wait for that to finish, and then I will meet you guys over at our next job site. We'll do that first, and then we'll go turn that in at the trader and see if the trader actually has some concrete mix that we can buy. So I'll see you guys over there. Okay, here we are at the Wagner residence. Home of Jack Canada. Wait, are we at the Wagner residence? No, that, that was the Wagner residence over there. We're doing Jack Canada's home. This does not at first glance look familiar to me. Um, does it, does he have a mailbox we can loot? Yes, he does. Okay, wiring magazine. And we'll get the bird's nest. We'll also poke our head into the garage here. Let's see if there's anything before we get started. Oh, you know what? We have um we have a couple points we gotta invest in as well. Let's just poke our head in here really quick and see what's in here. Some cement. We're going in for that, if nothing else. Well, hello there, buddy. You know what? Um, I just thought of something. We're going to... Let's see, we've got 12 of those. Let's make eight more of these. We can actually test those block shapes uh, while we're doing this POI to see if they're going to actually work. So the zombies, you know, can't get through them. Uh, is there something up here? It sure looks like there would be something up there. There is. Look at that. A weapons bag. Wow. Nice. Okay. Take that stuff. Uh, we'll repair that and sell it once we get um, uh, some pipes. Okay, so let's see. We're using, let's go here. We're using this shape. So let's have like four of those. And we're also using the window uh, empty shape 
So we'll have like four of those. Well, actually, you know what? We'll just keep, that'll save us a slot there. All right, so we'll try these out and see if they if they actually block zombies if we get that opportunity. Yeah, car is not lootable. Okay, let's do this. This is a retrieve the supplies. Let's go back around once again and grab the, oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, nice. We'll grab the uh, mailbox again. We'll take that stuff for the moment, anyway. More cement. And we got a trap. Magazine and some paper. Nothing up here. All right, let's do this. Let's put this down here. And uh, we'll put this up on top. All right, wake up, little Susie. Really? No Zombo in here? The hell man that didn't wake anybody up all right let's poke a hole through here okay let's just um poke her at a foot see if we can get her to come over here okay Well, that didn't last very long. All right, let's just test this block and see if there's some way she could maybe crawl underneath it. Of course, she's not really probably going to get into crawl mode at present. Hmm. What if we... All right, hold on a second. Let's set these back to just a normal block. See so if we can get her to come over here for a second. Now, can we get her to get down and try and crawl? And I don't think we can. Trying to damage her without killing her, you know? If we could take her leg off, actually. Okay, now, are you going to crawl? Nope. Nope, she doesn't want to do the crawling thing. But that would seem to suggest that maybe she can't crawl through it, so that's why she's not doing that. I don't know. I don't think so, because... Zombos will will crawl even when there, there's a solid block down there. All right, well, I don't think we're going to be able to effectively test this, so... Let's just take her out. Grab all our arrows that are sitting on the floor there. Okay, let's get the cement. Let's get the weapons bag. Archery, good. Primitive bow quality three. Take that stuff, especially the sewing kits. There's some more mechanical parts for us. That's good. And I don't think we care too much about the rest of that. 
Okay, well, let's uh, let's keep trying to test those out at least, and um, let's see what happens when we get in here. Okay, that door's locked. The satchel, wherever it may be, is on this floor. In fact, yeah, there it is, right there. Let's check this. There's something like anything behind here, is there? No. Okay, we got the satchel. This is a... Yeah, this was just a retrieve. So there's probably a zombie right behind here. Do, do, do. Yep. Bonnie McDonnie. Right in the nuts. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. Got a cooking magazine. Another cooking magazine. And the game is sure generous with those, even with just one point in Master Chef. And I'm not complaining about that. I've always felt like this game has been so damn stingy with loot for so many oh, alphas that uh, I'm okay with things being a little bit easier to come by and to a point, you know. We don't want it to be too easy, of course. Is there something back there? No. Okay, I still hear a sleepy somewhere. All right, points. Let's do our points. We have two points to spin. We are focusing currently on agility. Um, so let's see. We've got two points. Um, let's do from the shadows. We can't do parkour. We can do light armor and run and gun. We have to get agility itself up to get the next level of parkour as well as whirlwind. Um, so let's do let's do um, light armor next. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to get that up to four two. Okay, cool. There is a Darlene. Well, I was hoping I could open that door up and then shoot her, but apparently not. Okay, let's check the bookcases. We have an archery and two shotties. Pipe shotgun quality two, all right. There's a handy land. Well, we would have been okay if we hadn't been able to buy that one from the trader. So there you go. Let's get this. I'm gonna throw that out probably though. Some paper and traps, handguns, and assault rifles. Pipe machine gun quality four. Check for clothing. Okay, that's it for in here. Let's go upstairs. Right now, right now we're just after the fat loots. Wait, where are you? Oh shit! She <laughs> she landed on the. Whoa, where are you going? She landed on the spikes down there, I think. Next skill point, that's going to go into... Um, agility itself. There we go. Okay. Check the toity. I hear a zombo. I don't know where he is. There you are. Hey, cut that out, man. It's rude. Oh, we got crawly, creepy crawly, too. Very rude. And that just goes into there. Another bathroom. That sounds like a lumberjack. I don't know where he is. Let's get the shoddy ready. Alright. We're not messing around with a lumberjack. 
Or a spider for that matter. Not the, well, spiders aren't that big a deal. Have a bleed, Spidey. That's everything in here. Okay. Check the luggage thingy. Tough guy sunglasses. Um, I don't know if we actually have those. I know we have some perception glasses, so if we don't, we'll hang on to them. Because you never know. If we respect or something, we might uh, use something like that. All right, nothing in there. Not really a whole lot in here either. So are we supposed to parkour up here? Looks like it. Let's take one of these because we're just a little bit banged up. And we got Janitor Jim sleeping in the attic. Say goodnight, Gracie. Uh, I think there's another Zeke. Yeah, that looks like maybe Ronnie McDonnie's leg or something. Shoot him in the foot. Oh, it's Edgar's foot. Come here, Edgar. No, no, no. Won't be doing the little creepy crawly thing. Not allowed. Armor. Harvesting tools. And lights. Nothing in there. And the fat loots. Okay, another medical. And Yonition. Got a few seven six twos out of that. Shotties and some parts. Um, all right. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Scrap these. Uh, I think we'll toss those. And probably, well, here, let's scrap these. Okay. Pistol Pete, 20% more range when using scoper. Iron sights, nice. We have another one of those. We don't give a shit about that. These are probably not even worth fixing up and selling. Um, unless we wanted to wear them. Let's take a look at something. So this gives a half of a point of more armor and 1% more crit resist, but it's inferior in every other way. And it only has one mod slot opposed to what? Three do we get on this? Two. I don't think it's really worth it. I really don't. Um, so, and it's not probably going to be worth a whole lot either if we fix it up. So let's just scrap it for the leather. Okay, let's go do our turn in. State your business. I'd shake your hand, but I'll bet you got dysentery the way you smell. Shamway secret recipe would sure be nice to have, but not super important right at the moment. Forge steel would be good. Uh, but I think, once again, we're going to take the crafting skill magazine bundle. Okay, let's sell a couple things to him. These we should hang on to and put on something to make them more valuable. Don't have a pipe to repair that, so we're going to hold off on selling it to him. Rocket launcher, not worried about that in it for any time soon. We'll sell him that stuff. Um, I think I'll hang on to... No, you know what? I'm going to sell both of those things. Those, those are just so easy to come by. And I guess that's... Here, you want the paper? I'm not going to sell the mechanical parts. We need that stuff. Okay. A sale is a sale, even if it's to a scumbag like you. All right, so we got two trap crafting. Two bows. Okay, and two workstations. Next job. He's got a fetch and clear and a clear. Fetch and clears are usually worth a little bit more. 
You can't the Kosteki residence. You All right. better not fuck this up. Bro. All right. Yeah. Cool. Well, guys, we are out of time in this episode. I think what I'm going to do is take the rest of the Horde day off and just kind of gather some resources. I want to go out and just get gather up a bunch of eggs and maybe do a little more hunting so we can make a big old huge batch of bacon and eggs. And um, then I will start the next episode when the Horde night begins. All right, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.